Welcome to week 194. Amen. You know, saints, uh, I'm not going, I am, I'm not, let me see, I want to, I want to word this right. I'm not going to stay out here after service and wait for apologies because I won't get them. And I'm going to relieve you right now. But you know, the truth is just coming out and coming out and coming out. <clears throat> um, now, uh, I told you all at the time, but nobody believed me. And we went, we went on and did it because if we hadn't, you wouldn't have come to church. But that social distancing, I told you that was made up. I told you, it was made up. It was made up by a government, uh, a man from uh, England. His name was Neil Ferguson. Good old Neil was 51. And Neil's girl, his mistress, his married mistress was coming to see him. She's around 38. Every night while he had everybody else staying home, they were getting it on. Professor Neil Ferguson was branded an arrogant hypocrite today for catastrophically undermining the government's position by flaunting the strict uh, coronavirus social distancing rules he helped draw up to have secret trysts with his married lovers. He'd get, keep their, their loved ones home and keep them separated that way she could sneak out. So, uh, your other leader, Tony Fauci. Dr. Tony Fauci confessed to lawmakers Tuesday. This was published January the 10th. Confessed to lawmakers Tuesday that the guidelines to keep six feet of separation ostensibly to limit the spread of COVID-19 sort of just appeared without scientific input. I told you. Fauci, 83, revealed to the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic that the six feet apart recommendation championed by him and other U.S. public health officials um, was likely, look at this quote, not based on scientific data. I told you. This is why, you know, you might want to from time to time listen to your preacher. See, it's all coming out now. This was a con. It was designed to control people. And they, and, and, uh, and they did it through fear. And look at the number of churches that just closed down. I don't know how that pastor feels now. I bet, you, know, you, I mean, you know, the Holy Spirit didn't tell you this man was lying. I, and if the Holy Spirit didn't tell you, I told you. And they called me irresponsible and said I was, I was crazy and I was leading the folk the wrong way. But God. And now it's coming out. Now it has already come out that the mass gave no protection. I went to Walgreens one day and bought a pack of masks to look to, to, to check it out myself, and I read in the in the uh, fine print the mask people said this mask will not protect you from COVID nineteen. Right. <laughs> Isn't that something? I tell you what it shows though. It shows how gullible the American people can be. And I want to say to you, to keep from being gullible, easily persuaded, e gullible, easily fooled, trust the Bible. Trust the Bible. You can't trust the media. Do you remember back?